Video games going. We're going right into top 40 in a single Did Jen always have glasses? Yes. Uh, no, that's not true. That is true. Don't lie to them. He's always had look, them. Look at those always... bears. All right. Yes, Jen has always had glasses. He just doesn't wear them all the time. Liar. He needs them for fighting Rob. So, so I actually think this matchup's in Paula's favor. It's one of the few, few matchups I think she just wins straight out. I feel like that's a fair enough assessment. Rob being a very traditional zoning character and a big body leaves him susceptible to a lot of tools that Palu just brings to the table based off like the general. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, look at that combo. He's got some damage there. Yeah. I'm looking to see just kind of how he takes his approach to the neutral here because I know that for a lot of people, Rob can be a very impressive in that manner, right? He's shooting out these lasers, shooting out these gyros. Oh, eating that up. Yo, are we talking about gyros? That's property of Jen. Oh, that's the HO3 K Tech. Talking about gyros, I'm, I'm starting to get hungry out here. Yeah, that's gyros, man. That's Greek. Yeah, come on, man. Don't worry about it. Oh, okay. We got the ledge trap set up. Oh, it fell off. He, he didn't want that. Yeah. I was speaking of the side bees, it coming out right there, but to no avail. Jen blocking all of those hits. There we go. That's gonna be two. All right. To a fair, we got some good clean damage coming up from Jen here. Raffi trying to get his way back onto the stage, rolling in, getting caught once again by the Nair into the forward air. I feel like he could have gone for you in a little bit more if he wanted to, but Jen has been oppressive thus far. Yeah, Raffi's just stuck in disadvantage for most of the part of this game, and he doesn't seem to be able to gather himself. Most of the problem is is just that Palutena can maneuver her way around PS2 so all well. Right. And even though Raffi's going to pick up the kill here, he still has to worry about all the damage that got put on into his second stock. And that was without a lot of effort from Jen. Yeah. There we go. Already racking up so much damage. 33% on the board already. Now 51. Raffi making that depth that he had seem almost non-existent with how easily he was able to bounce back. Yeah, good job to Rob. Getting buffed in this game. He would not able to do that in Smash 4. Ooh. But that's the stock right there. Jen catching him high and getting still in the stock. Right there. Here we go, Nairs again. That's two and two. The back end, no, that was a forward air, I believe. There we go, racking up damage. Once again, it's so hard to deal with as Rob, right? You're this huge, big body character, and this Nair is oppressive. It stays out for 10 years, and there's not really much you can do. You just got to get hit sometimes. Shield pokes you. The real terror of this matchup is the fact that forward air is able to safely poke away. The real oh, terror wow. of this matchup is that SD. <laughs> True. Yeah. Fact. That's, that's going in the notebook. That's, that's not a good one to hold on to. But what I was trying to say is, how do fair? is able to poke so quickly, it doesn't matter that Rafi can break away a lot of the pressure with Nair or can try to escape. Because Palutena's neutral trailer is just going to scoop from wherever, but he's going to start falling out eventually, especially with good DI, which to Rafi's credit, he has been exhibiting decent DI. But Fair catches that. Fair is just quick enough that he doesn't got to worry about it. Yeah, that's not going to kill quite yet. Yeah. And Jen's getting punished for overtrend. He really wants to end this right now. He rolls to center stage here, throws the gyro, gonna see what he can find. Rafi close to bringing this one out now. Gyro set up once again, gonna fall off the stage. Still trying to chase Jen down though. He's gonna land the finishing blow, it's only a matter of time. Back oh. oh no, he didn't get his turnaround. I felt like that was gonna be the back there. Shame it isn't, but Rafi's still in the game. Going for on high landing hey. though. Can't be doing that on Palutena. Up air lasts a long time, and Rob's a big boy. That's going to be game one in Jen's favor. Yeah, I didn't hate the idea altogether, right? Like, uh, just because he has the gas, he can kind of, like, bide his time, trying to mix up his landing. But yeah. then landing on that platform with the Nair is one of those things where the Nair is supposed to cover his landing. But had he landed on the stage as opposed to the platform, it would have been a lot better for him. Because the up air, easy punish on that. He was able to die off of that. But had he just landed on that base platform, could have been a different story. Yeah. So... It looks like we're going Smashville. Rafi does not want to give him like a lot of stage room. He wants to enclose him. He'll probably get a bit more kills with that side B because Smashville, it's kind of smaller than the other stages in terms of sizes. I feel like this is also a really good stage for Paul Lieutenant though. Her mobility is going to be really something Rafi's got to worry about. He's got to figure out a way to slow down the pace of the match, keep Jen from being able to position himself so effectively. Because I feel oh, like man. all of where Rafi's getting caught out is just the fact that like, he's not making good landings or is whipping a lot of, uh, of punishes. When you saw that side B start up, he, yeah. he wants it. With that early KO, there go laser, almost enough to kill, but not quite. The gyrocopter coming out as well. Ooh, oh. stage fight. Yeah, caught him on the re-grab. You can't do that in this game. This is not melee. 
It's not Brawl. Happened in Smash 4, but this ain't that game either. And nonetheless, Rafi trying to take a lead here, but he's got to worry about Jen sharking that platform. That base plot is going to be super important for Jen to control if he wants to take back the pace in this match. Yeah, and that's why I was confused as to why this is Daisy opted to go for. With being as big as Rob is, getting down is going to be a pain against Pawutena. Oh, nice reflect. Okay, get two of those only. I don't think Rafi was uh, prepared for the platform. Oof. Taking his time to get back to the series there. He's going to go ahead and shield all this. They're playing some very uh, back and forth neutral, I guess you'll call it. You know, you got man shield and spot dodge and no punish on that. Almost gets it. Wow, didn't get the setup. You know, usually he's able to cover that neutral get up with the gyro and get himself like, like an up smash. Or you saw it going for the back air right there. But that time he couldn't find the conversion. Rafi coming back. Jens looking for the kill. Oof. And almost dying right there. Oh. Okay, he goes for the nair for the punish. Interesting. Bit of a questionable recovery angle, but nonetheless, Jen gets his feet back on the ground before how long? Down throw, up yeah. air, and good DI's keeping him alive still. But look at all this percentage that's built up onto Jen. Even, oh, no. Even if Jen manages to take the stock at this point, he's still on a two deficit. And there's a lot of momentum that Rafi's running with. Yeah, and you know, it's interesting. Uh, I feel like Jen has largely put the projectiles on the back burner in this game. It doesn't really feel like he's has been throwing out nearly as many explosive flames or even uh, auto reticles that he was throwing out in that first well, game. I think that's due to the stage because it feels it's smaller than the typical Pokemon Stadium, which everyone plays on. Rafi now is able to like come in and play more of his projectile game while Palu has more startup on hers. Not only that, but auto reticle and explosive flame have very great like set distances right. that they can cover. Whereas Rob's zoning tools are a lot more fluid in design. The laser can cover a greater space, but it also has its hitbox start uh, being fairly quick. And the top, most importantly, is probably one of the most versatile of zoning options in Rob's kit. Okay, Jen trying to make as much of a comeback as he can. Does have a good chunk of damage racked up. It's going to be probably an up tilt. Yeah. yeah. Up air. He's good. All right. 108, 118 right now. Oh, okay. get a attack. Yeah, a lot better in this game than previous installments. It's just that little bit more of intangibility. It's so important. Oh. Okay, I like that forward out of shoot from Rafu. Responding to the option here. This could be a KO off the top. And yeah. It will be. Palutena is one of the very few characters where Rob actually has to mix up what you do at late percentages off that down throw. He can't just go for a down smash or up smash, so having to follow the DI out of the uh, the grounded mash. And Rafi with quick reflexes is able to do it on Jen. Gives yep. us the one one count. So what do you guys think we're gonna be we're gonna be seeing? Regardless of stage, like what adaptations do you think we're gonna see out of Jen and Rafi? Well, he's definitely gonna try to go to bigger stages now. Because he doesn't want to be enclosed. And definitely gonna do more explosive playing. Because Rafi was just on top of him. Yeah, I wonder. We're going back to, to Pokemon Stadium, it looks like. And we'll see if this works out uh, for Jen here. It really just seems like Jen uh, needs to get those kills more efficiently, right? It seems like he's doing a pretty decent job of racking up the damage. And that first kind of 60-ish percent always seems to be fairly consistent no matter what the stock count is. Ooh, there we go. That's good. Oh. Doing such a good job of keeping Rafi from being able to even land safely. Look at that. 99 uncontested, and he's still going. I just want to bring up a quick note that at this point in the bracket, we're looking at best of five brackets. So it's still anyone's game from this point, and the yep. momentum Yo, swing. Did you see that talk? Maybe Jet feels himself sometimes. Jet's flexing. Oh, man, I don't know if he's flexing that much. Yeah, no, 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 no. At this point in the set, Jen can't afford to flex that hard on Rafi because Rafi could still mash his heart out, take this stage back, take this game, and sit with the point lead on the set. Oh. This is not the kind of tournament you want to stay alive in the loser's bracket because everyone is fiending for that top eight spot. I want to also remind you, fellas, it's a PGR rank event. This is where your, your placements, your wins, start to really matter during this season. Oh, man. Just barely hit yeah. the uh, the entrant count to get that C tier status on the PGI there. Down to gets tech, but looks like Rafi unable to recover. Might have burned all his gas or just wasn't privy to what was going on there. Happened uh, very quickly. He might have just not noticed uh, what happened to his player character there. But still trying to keep himself alive here. Jen doing a immaculate job keeping Rafi away. Already perfect parry. Go ahead and get that stuff that neutral and rack up more damage on this next stock. Already at 40%. 
I'll get Jen surviving that throw right there. Oh. I like how Rafi had the read on the jump from ledge, but oh. just kept doing too much too often. The West, he still gets the stock. Look at the spacing there just outside the range where Rafi can really do anything about it. But perfect read with the grab right there, trying to get more damage as much as he can. Jen now having control, but losing it to Rafi. But well, nice teleport to the platform right there to get out of the damage. I want to bring up real quick, look how Rafi's changed up how he wants to control this fight. He's not going for like super fancy zoning or combos. He keeps on throwing Jen off the ledge, and he's doing a good job of building up that percentage on him. I was going to say, even to the opposite end as well, I feel like Jen has largely kept Rafi in the corner this entire match, forcing him to these ledge trap scenarios, and even when he has to inch his way forward like he did there, managed to roll in, but once again, going to push him toward the side here and just get a KO just like that. Yeah, caught him pressing that there and punished him for it. All right, so we're sitting with the 2-1 count. Game point for Jen, but fans are going to plenty. Hmm. Given the no DSR, we could go back to Smashville, but I'm yeah. curious to see if that's what Rafi opts for. And it will be. Right, there you go. We have a man, the prophet, the legend, Hangman himself. I mean, hey, Smashville worked really well for him in that game, too. Yeah, he kind of molly him. Like, Jen came into this set looking like, oh, free win. Then Rafi brought him to Smashville, and he was like, oh, free win. Let's see if we're going to get another clean dub right here for Rafi X. Or if Jen will go uh, further into this bracket as the victor to make himself even closer toward inching to the top eight. Already, Rafi's in the corner. And, you know, arguably, I'd say in the past, I would say Rafi would be very comfortable in that position. He used to put himself in the corner a lot back in Smash 4. But it looks like against Jen, this isn't working in his favor. Jen feels so comfortable here just punishing everything Rafi's trying to do. It's a new age for zoners, man. We can't be sitting on the ledge all the time. You have to stay very mobile. And unfortunately, Palutena is the kind of character that loves to feed on that type of mobile play because most characters don't have very qu uh, quick get off me options, Rob included. Oh my yeah. god. D. That I was in, convincing. D. I out. That's true, man. It doesn't matter either. It was a contested, uncontested almost 117 some odd percent before Rafi was even able to connect the first hit. Even now, Jen only at 41, still forcing Rafi into the corner. He needs to find a way to gain control of center stage. And this might be the opening he was looking for. Oh, try to be really cheap with that counter. Up to like oh. it. Oh. oh. There we go. Perfect patience exhibited from Rafi there. To go for that up to wait and then get the up smash onto the platform, catching the landing from Jen. We're even getting the rare instance of New England popping off for Rafi. Isn't there he's kind of shoehorned into the villain status every once in a blue moon? But on tonight, it, during this tournament, New England rallies for their boy. That's true, man. We may complain all the time in region, but once it comes to uh, fighting off the invaders, everybody's a fan. <laughs> got a little rowdy. Hey, listen, that's what I'm trying to hear because getting to this point of the bracket during pools, getting a mad quiet. A little library during the study session, but hey, now we're breaking out. Forder coming out. Rafi trying to push towards center. He has Jen on the platform, which I think is actually a pretty good spot to have Jen as Rob in the matchup. You have to know that he's going to come down with something, and you're able to play around that fact while still controlling space with all your projectiles. So you see him try to work that as best he can. Jen fastballing through these platforms so he doesn't land on it by accident. Oof, doesn't get the read. Oh, back here pushing him off stage and parrying the laser. There's no reason for that. Oh, a little flex from Jen. Gonna warp right back to the ledge. That's a side B, not quite enough. Needs to do it like off the stage to cast him a dragon far enough. Gonna get the punish with the gyro. Not a strong punish, but good damage. And all. here we go again. Ooh, Quick that's 40. What, that's what I'm saying. Look out for those fares. Rob's a big boy. He only blocks so much. And it's coming out so fast, it doesn't matter how well he can DI it. He's still got to check each and every one of those. Oh, still living. Jen. Why is he alive? Jets DI. He's looking like an actual goddess. Oh, nice. He went for the, uh, the the glory right there, trying to get all the parries onto the explosive flame. There got most of them, but there we go. Up throw on the platform, looking like Charizard with the seismic toss. And go ahead and close that one out. But Rafi is now at 100 some odd percent. Just for a moment. Just going to bring it up one more time. Woof! Match count. It's two one, and you need that three to oh, take no. it out of the game. Oh, he is ballsy. Rafi trying to push forward. 
He's doing a good job of moving his zone and forward, though, like little by little with the laser pressure. It's hard oh. against Pallet Oh, he didn't get the bear. Still not close enough. And he does a neutral get up and the side tilt yeah, coming out does. there, man. That forward tilt stays out for 10 years. You read a neutral get up, you just throw it out, you're going to get the punish. 3 1. I'll get a peep at the replay right here. Look That's at that, that forward tilt. tilt. Yeah. It lingers just long enough, just long enough to catch that. And it's dangerous. That's, That's broken. It's good. That's broken. 